there! Welcome back to my channel. I'm Teacher Jaggi of Rosario National High School teaching English 8 subject. In this video, I am going to discuss the correct sounds of English. So at the end of this lesson, you're expected to first Recognize the speech features of English. Second, appreciate the uses of correct tone and rhythm of the English language. Number three, draft and deliver a persuasive speech. So you are expected to draft and deliver a persuasive speech at the end of this lesson. So let's start our discussion. The English language possesses a measured flow that creates a harmonious pattern of sounds and rhythm when spoken and makes a speaker sound natural when he or she uses the correct tone and rhythm of the English language. Furthermore, these are certain speech features that can greatly help learners and speakers of English to produce utterances that flow steadily, spontaneously, and coherently. These features are number one, the stress, number two, the pitch. Number three, the juncture. Now let's discuss first the stress. Stress, it is the emphasis given to certain syllables of a word, a phrase, or a sentence. A changes in stress affects its meaning. Say for example, that is a noun but when we say export that is a verb another is object that is a noun and when we say object that is a verb when we say present that is a noun and we say present that is a verb and when we say record that is a noun when we say record that is a verb so you can see the difference between a noun and a verb so you can you can hear the stress the first syllable in the word export that is a noun and when we hear the word export that is being stressed on the second syllable that is a verb so I hope you get our first feature in English and that is the stress Next is the pitch. The pitch is very simple. It refers to the relative highness or lowness of a tone or voice. As simple as that. And the third one is the juncture. The juncture is a transition or a period of change between successive speech sounds or between a speech sound and silence. In pronouncing the twin words with identical sounds, you observe a juncture or a pause or a silence between the words to make them clear. Example, night rate and if it is in one word 
there is no juncture. Nitrate. See the difference? The next one is ice cream. It's different from ice cream. Ice cream. Ice cream. Another is heel ice. It's different from heel ice. So, heel ice is different from he lies. Another is keep sticking. Keep sticking is different from keeps ticking. So, keep sticking, keeps ticking. So, did you get me? Okay, let's proceed to the following. These are the steps when you do a persuasive speech. It will help you a lot. So these features in English, the stress, the pitch, and the juncture will surely help you in making or drafting a persuasive speech Drafting and delivering a persuasive speech. So you will do the following. Number one, you draft a persuasive speech to convince your audience of the practicality of using the bicycle as an alternative mode of transportation. So in drafting your speech, you need to observe these uh, steps or you need to observe the following a you clarify your position that is the first thing you do begin your speech by giving a clear description of your issue and your opinion number two understand your audience be completely attached to the audience you are trying to persuade. Okay, it's clear? Number three, support your opinion. Okay? You provide facts, reasons, examples, and statistics to support your opinion. Number four, you grab the attention of your audience. Use startling or shocking information to get the attention of your audience. And number five, show clear reasoning. Number six, help your audience remember your message by drafting your speech like a story. Use language that appeals to the five senses. And the last one, remain calm in the midst of controversy. So there you have it. I hope our objectives for this lesson were attained and hope to see you soon next session. So to be updated for new topics, please subscribe and hit the notification bell, like and share so that your classmates will be notified too. See you in my next session, in my next lesson.